Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bowl. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repero! I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now for our next task, we'll be planting Dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. I do wonder about Professor Fig. He's hardly ever in his classroom. Most strange. I should think Professor Garlic would be more careful with her mandrakes. Did you know that you can use the mandrake to defend yourself? Why, the very idea. Gardens at Hogwarts are impressive. I think the garlic maintains them. With the help of how all day in the great hall if I could. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. 
I'll say. Nearly went deaf. Well, yes. Of course, the cry of a mature mandragora can be fatal, so remember to keep those ears protected. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting Dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Niffler's fancy, or roses? I'd love to have a house in one of them. Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. can be harvested, your destiny will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there, but your lead. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good, but you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh, well, thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have, if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? Pfft, typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. We Gryffindors fight with honour. And uh, here we are, home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on, grab a few of those cabbage. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it. And they'll do the rest. they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy.
Trust me, Leander. I was imagining it the entire time. You were? I mean, of course. You're, uh, not someone to be trifled with. I see that. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we, uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Revelio. Nice to see you, my young friend. And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves, I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Oh, those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me my damned hearing. To make anything grow, we must first understand it. That goes for plants as well as friendships. Kindness and concern are as necessary in the greenhouse as in the Great Hall. Field guide, I'm most pleased to be included. Be all Someone's doing ministry regarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade. 
Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent, which he is. is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld Potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from J. Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time round. Professor Sharp said that Wiganweld potion can treat injuries. Hope I never need it. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. My Wiganweld potion's utter rubbish. Wish I could just replace it with one from J. Pippins. Don't fret if you run out of ingredients. I simply grow most of what I need. Fine job brewing your first Wiccan World potion. But there are many potions yet to learn. This is going to be a busy year. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say that. 
He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adjurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fupa feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. I don't know, Gareth. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. Fupa feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. Very well. I'll bring you a Fupa feather. Brilliant! Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. A well-prepared witch will
Revelio. Here's the fwapper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Proficiency in potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! Get it. Oh! Now! Dragon Dog! What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor, again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learnt a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was sceptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an Auror. I wish he talked about it more. Rebellion. Okay. 
That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. Heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise, fewer explosions. Greetings. I understand you're quite the enterprising young Ravenclaw. Professor Fig tells me you found a long-lost book for him. I'd like to talk to you about it. I hate to see a creature get put down like that. But trolls have no business in Hogsmeade. My robes are going to reek from Gareth's inspiration for the rest of term. I was impressed that you were able to answer Professor Sharp's question about the Wigger Meld potion. Oh, thank you. That means a lot coming from a fellow Ravenclaw. And I've never seen anyone brew such a flawless Wigger Meld potion on their first try. Well done. I'm glad I was able to get it right the first time. You must simply have a knack for potion making. Some students seem so confounded by potion recipes, it's as if they're written in gobbledygook. A fascinating language, by the way. Neither here nor there, really, but I am a self-taught speaker. Merlin's beard, good conversation is the enemy of free time. I must return my book, Gateway to the Far Stars, before my next class. Speaking of stars, we'll be in astronomy together. You'll love it. Professor Shaw is firm, but quite clever. See you soon, no doubt. My mother says the foulest owls. I'm talking about the actual owl. Off on another adventure, are we? There was something else too. A dash of powdered bat's been, I think. Rebellion.
door. They really shouldn't allow food and drinks in the common room. Stepped in a puddle of butter beer the other day. That is a failed poster. I hear Feldcroft's been getting attacked by Ranrock loyalists. Oh, if Black hadn't cancelled it, we wouldn't be looking for the blasted thing Come in the on. first place. Where are you? Revelius! You're saying it wrong! Ugh, oh, Revelius! <sighs> Much better. Oh, shut up! Wait! Revelio! He's ruined my entire school year. I hope a puff skin goes up his nose and snatches his brain. It'd poison the poor beast. What sort of headmaster doesn't allow sports? Deserves to be an Azkaban. That'd suit him. Ah, oh, if Black was an Azkaban, I should pity the Dementors. The man has no soul to take. Besides, Azkaban wouldn't suit Black. Not enough mirrors. Rebellion. Oh, haven't a clue why there's such a fuck approaching. Enough beast flesh for everyone. He's weak. Yes, he is. When's the last time you saw him catch a beast? Spent more time petting the things. <sighs> I don't know what they think I'll see around here. They come after me, they'll rest in time. It's no talent. Hogwarts is very lucky. <laughs> oh, that the beasts around here can sleep a bit easier now.
I know what that means. Merlin trial. Revelio. Accio. Not so tricky after all, Merlin. This place has seen better days. Revelio. Incendio. Accio.
Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? Good of you to come. My friend, Professor Fig, speaks highly of you and your resourcefulness. He was vague as to details, but mentioned your having tracked down a difficult-to-find book. I wondered if you'd be willing to do a little detective work on my behalf. Of course, Mr. Ollivander. Sounds most up my street. Wonderful. You see, about a century ago, an heirloom applewood wand with a fairy wing core went missing from this very shop. My great aunt suspected a student named Richard Jackdaw. He'd been serving as an assistant here and suddenly vanished. Richard Jackdaw? Like the bird. In fact, he was known to frequent the Hogwarts Owlry. We searched there, of course, but found no wand. We did find a series of statues similar to Jackdaw's. I'm certain they're a clue, but I cannot figure out where they lead. Jackdaw was last heard tittering about some pages with a map he'd stolen from Peeves. As you can imagine, the poltergeist was less than helpful. Why would the thief have taken the wand? I must admit I have no idea. From what I can gather, he fancied himself an adventurer of sorts, always looking for trouble. In fact, after he went missing, rumor had it his ghost was seen in Hogsmeade. Never heard much about him after that, but it seems as if his adventurous spirit may have got the better of him. Perhaps he thought that the wand had some special power simply because of its esteemed lineage. Astonishing how misunderstood the art of wand-making is. Is there anything special about the wand? Oh, yes. It's terribly special. But not in the way you might think. It won't grant special powers to the caster, no. Nothing like that. But it will ease the hearts and minds of the Ollivanders to know of its return. And that power is immeasurable. Surely you could continue searching the Owlery? Oh, one would think. However, the headmaster does not take kindly to an old wand maker loitering about the place. Can't say I blame him. Also, I have perhaps been looking for too long. I feel a fresh set of eyes, and a bright mind like yours is sure to solve this riddle. I'll have a look for you. You've certainly given me plenty to go on. 
Ah, you've brought hope to this old one-maker's heart. Professor Fig was right. You are a remarkable student. The statues Mr. Ollivander mentioned must be upstairs amongst the owls. Meows, I'm just here to help a friend. Now, where are those statues?
I recognize those handles. The summoning charm should do the trick. Akio! Empty perches. Could be the right size for jackdaws. Or statues of jackdaws. No statues here. Rebellion. Nothing. Ah, here's a welcome surprise. Revelio. aren't afraid of heights. Perhaps I should look a bit higher. Uh. I'll take that, thank you. I'd best keep looking. This'll do nicely. Oh, no statues here. Levioso! Accio! Revelio! Accio! Nothing. Let's keep looking. Ah, here's a welcome surprise. Oh, no statues here. Huh, nothing. Revelio. Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Accio. I'll take that, thank you. I'd best keep looking. Revelio. What's happening? Could it be? 
Has someone solved my puzzle after all these years? Well done indeed. Good news. If you've got something to hide, you found the perfect spot. Richard Jackdaw, at your service. The Richard Jackdaw? So Mr. Ollivander was right. He wants his family wand back. Goodness. I'd forgotten about that wand. I assure you, I don't have it on me. I'm almost certain I dropped it the moment I was beheaded in that cave. Oh, it was sheer folly to follow that map. What map? Ridiculous, really. Found it on some yellowed old pages Peeves had pilfered. Thought I could impress a girl. But that's a story for another day. So, you stole a wand and then followed a map on some pages that you took from Peeves and followed that map to your doom. Odd to hear it all reduced to such absurdity, but yes. Why do you care about some old wand? I don't, really. Ollivander does. It's the pages I'm after. Might they be with the wand in the cave? Indeed. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest? I'd be happy to show you where to find them. Why would you steal Mr. Ollivander's family wand? The family were always going on about how special it was. So I took it. Who could resist? Sadly, it wasn't special enough to save my neck. I fully intended to return it once I learned it was only special for sentimental reasons. But as you can see, I never got the chance. I think I can guess how you died, but who did it to you? I was having a look about when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze, after which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do visit the cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. How is it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He's got a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor, whatever's likely to cause the most chaos. I doubt he even noticed they were gone. If that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you there. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton, the wand and the pages are yours for the taking.
Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Please, uh, come in. Let me know if you need help finding anything. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about.
handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Do you know what they do to prisoners in Azkaban? I heard something. Seems we may have an intruder in our midst. Mr. No! Tennis! No! This looks intriguing. Revelio. <laughs> Incendio. Lumos. <gasps> R 
Revelio. Shameful what you've done to helpless beasts. 